I'd like just to say a very few words of uh, framing for today. Um, uh, that's quite a complicated one, isn't it? But let me try. Um, we're, we're on day two, mm. and you're on day five. Um, Are we heading for SISM? Well, let's see. I don't know. Are you worried? We'd had a fairly intensive experience of gathering together, but yesterday was the point at which we had to be clearer about the methods we were using. I think it's achieved a level of spiritual cohesion. A healing and a helpful thing, though also a difficult one. Education is part of making religion a resource for peace rather than a menace here, so I would see this as absolutely key to that task. It's not that I want to see the Lambeth Conference becoming a governing council, but among the covenant proposals and among some of the other documents around, there are suggestions for some further international bodies that could act as clearing houses for debate, as sources of clear advice to myself or the primates. So it's, it's at that level that I'm, I'm thinking of it. I, if this is the end of the Anglican Communion, I don't think anyone's told most of the people here. <laughs> So it was at least worth trying something which allowed quite deliberately every single voice to be heard as part of the process and not to rely too heavily on particular kinds, particular cultures of conference life. Some issues around the ordination of women to the priesthood are perhaps once again just a little bit more prominent than even five years ago in the minds of some people in Rome. The fact is, though, that such people will still recognize that a ministry is being exercised. That whether it's you know, fully integrated with their own vision of ministry or not is real. Last week, the Gap Town leaders rubbished the draft covenant, saying that you have too much influence and they rejected it as, frankly, globalists, so clearly they don't consent to it. So, how do you get around that? Well, I think we argue. <laughs> what is my message? We're sorry you're not here.